Hey guys, so today we're going to talk about backup power solutions for grid down situations. Now that includes everything from short term storms up to hurricanes that take the power out for weeks, months, or even beyond. So I'm going to break it down based on budget. We're going to start with a really tight budget and work our way all the way up to the high end stuff. So let's get started. Let's start with a really tight budget of just $500. So for that, we're gonna look at a small inverter generator. And I'm not really pushing this particular generator. I mean, there's a bunch of them. Westinghouse makes it, um, you know, Honda. A lot, a lot of companies make these. So you can look, look through them, find the best deal that you can get. Small inverter generator, okay? You're probably going to connect it with an extension cord, just going to plug it right in here, go through a window, put a power strip on it, plug in all your stuff. Okay, it's going to run on gas. It's not dual fuel. And generally speaking, you can consider one five gallon gas can will run this thing for about a day. Now, you could run it longer if you run it intermittently, you know, turn it off for several hours and then run it again, stuff like that. Or it could take more than that if you're running it at capacity 24-7. But basically one five gallon can per day, which is really good, actually. It's one of the advantages of this system. So let's look at the specs. This one puts out 1800 watts continuous, 2200 with the peak starting watts. That's for startup currents. Weighs about 46 pounds, pretty light, you can move it around easy. What will it run? Well, you can run uh, your refrigerator, a window, AC, some lights, fan, computers, stuff like that. Um, but you really can't run, I mean, you could run these at the same, if you ran your fridge and AC at the same time, that would pretty much take up the entire 1800 watts. You couldn't run anything else. So what you're probably going to do is run in your refrigerator, lights, fan, laptop, and once it gets cold, then you swap it out unplug this, plug in your window unit and keep one room cool. So you kind of got to play this game in the lower budget where you're not really running everything at the same time, but hey, you can still, it works and you can get by with this. If we look at the pros, it's really quiet. It's very fuel efficient and that's a huge factor, guys. Uh, this thing, like I said, you're running on one five gallon can per day, basically. Uh, if you were to go out and get yourself one of these 22k whole house generators, you're going to run through about 1,500 bucks a week just in gas. So there, there are advantages and disadvantages, right? Clean power. It's a pure sine wave. See that? Nice clean. Most inverter generators are clean power. If you have dirty power like this, then you can't run um, sensitive electronics. The way you tell is you want to look for the total harmonic distortion, THD, and it should be less than 6% to run your electronics off of it. Uh, it's a low cost, 500 bucks. The cons, um, it's a 120 volt system, so you can run anything on this kind of plug here, 120 volt. You can't run anything 240. So no wells, no water heaters, dryers, um, big air conditioners, stuff like that. anything that's 240 you can't run. Now that's a really big deal if you live out in the country and you're on a well because having water is more important than having power, really. <laughs> but if you're, of course, if you're in uh, another, if, you have, if you're on city water, it's not going to make any difference. Um, so, I mean, this is really for 500 bucks. This will solve the majority of problems you're ever going to see, more than likely. Any kind of temporary power outages. Even a week-long storm, you could get by on this guy and still have one cool room to sleep in, and your food wouldn't go bad as long as you're rotating it, staying on top of it. All right, so that's it for this one. Let's move on to the. Let's move up to the next level. So if we move up to the one thousand dollar budget, so double, then we can move up to a bigger inverter generator. So it's kind of the same thing, only bigger, right? So we're still going to use an extension cord to get our power in. We're still going to run off of gas. It's not dual fuel. We're going to now use a little more gas. So we're going to burn through one or two of these five-gallon jugs every day, depending on how much you run it. Again, if you run it all the time and what kind of load is on it. 
But now at the specs, we've almost doubled the continuous output to 3,000 watts continuous. Uh, 3,500 peak starting watts, and it weighs about twice as much at 102 pounds. But the really big advantage we have now is that we don't have to swap between these bigger appliances. We can run them at the same time. So a fridge, an AC unit, uh, your lights, computers, you know, you can have a little more flexibility here. You don't have to be swapping them in and out. It's still really quiet. Um, we're still on the fuel efficient side. We're doing really good there. Not as good, but still really good. It's the uh, inverter generator. It's still clean power. Don't have to worry about running electronics. Low cost. And the cons are the same. It, it doesn't have the 240 output. You can't run your well pump. You can't run your water heater, that kind of stuff. So what you're really getting for the extra 500 bucks now is just a little bit bigger version of the same thing and then more flexibility in running stuff at the same time. So what if you're in an apartment building and you can't run a generator? You can't have the exhaust. Well, let's talk about solar generators. So here we have the EcoFlow River Pro. Now this is a, considered a small solar generator, so we're still in the tight budget, under $1,000. I actually have one of these, I did a full review on it, so I'll link that below if you want more details on that. Here you're going to plug in the extension cord, same as before, but now you're going to use a solar panel instead of uh, gas that you have to store. So theoretically this could go indefinitely. Um, but this particular unit, this is considered small, and it only goes up to about 200 watts max. So figure you might get 100 to 150 watts for maybe five, six hours a day if you were trying to use this on a long-term basis. For specs, we got 600 watts continuous output, 1200 peak, and the battery with this backup battery is uh, 1440 watt hours. That's the two combined. So I like to think of this unit for small electronics. This is for charging your phone, running some lights, maybe a box fan, your laptop computer. Uh, you really can't run big stuff off of this. I mean, you could run a dorm refrigerator, but it would be tough to keep it going for more than a couple of days once you're down to just your solar. Um, also, you could run a window unit for maybe a couple of hours, but that'd be about it. So think small electronics. Uh, it's very quiet and basically silent except for a fan. Um, the neat thing is that you can recharge it. So on the other, if all you have is a generator, then eventually you run out of gas. So once you move into the solar world, I mean this will run for months and months or years, um, but you would eventually be down to just whatever you can collect on the panels. Uh, and 150 watts is not much. <laughs> So keep that in mind. It is clean power, nice clean sine wave, uh, low cost. It's not 240 volts. You're not going to run anything big off of this. Um, no well pumps, none of that kind of stuff. Uh, one second thing, uh, mainly I think of it for small electronics, but a second idea is if you have this combined with a small generator, a gas generator, you can charge this up real quick on a gas generator, then shut that off and just run off this guy for maybe four or five hours. So used in conjunction, you can kind of make a stronger solution. Okay guys, that's gonna wrap it up for the tight budget solutions. In the next video, we'll dig into medium budget solutions. And then in the final video, we'll jump all the way up to the high end stuff. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you on the next one.